Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Welcome to the Jew Jets Show, and let's go ahead and talk about the 10th day of Jets practice. Let's start off and talk about Makai Becton's injury because it looks like he is actually going to miss the whole season. Robert Sala came out in his press conference and said that it's likely that Becton is out for the entire year. Obviously, not great news at all. Makai Becton beasts when he's on the field, and it just sucks to see him get hurt. He's such a talented player, but injuries have just gotten the best of him. And, you know, keep him in your prayers. He's been in mine. But it's like, you know, hopefully he can come back eventually with the Jets because this dude is just so talented. But, you know, he's going to be in competition for a job next year, definitely, if he's still on the roster, which I hope he is. But, I mean, it's it's going to be rough. You know, play, You know, people on Twitter have been saying, let's go out and trade for Andre Dillard. Maybe we go out and sign Dwayne Brown. Maybe we go out and sign Eric Fisher. Like, there's a lot of possibilities out there. A lot of players we could end up signing. And it just sucks to see Mekhi Becton out for the whole season. Um, but in addition to Mekhi Becton getting hurt, the New York Jets signed two offensive linemen, Caleb Beninock, who we reported on yesterday, and Chris Glazier. Now, Beninock, he has some experience at tackle. He's mainly played guard in his career, but I would assume the New York Jets are going to to be using him at the tackle position. He reminded me of Dan Feeney, someone who really wasn't good, you know, starting as a player, but could be solid as a backup, but, you know, in this situation, we might be signing him to compete for a starting role because Chuma Doga, Max Mitchell, honestly, might not be better than Caleb Beninock. And then we also signed Chris Glazier, who, you know, has only played guard in his career. Never played tackle, I don't think, so, you know, don't expect him to fill Mekhi Becton's spot. In addition to signing these two players, we waived Parker Ferguson and Hamilcar Rashid Jr. But now let's talk about today's practice, starting off with our daily Zach Wilson update. Now, on paper, it didn't seem like he had a bad practice. He completed seven out of his 11 passes, but they weren't, you know, highlight real passes. He had, you know, a couple nice completions to, you know, Tyler Conklin, who would have guessed, and Corey Davis. But, I mean, other than that, it was just, you know, probably just dump-offs, you know, two-yard slant route things. Like, just not really crazy stuff from Wilson today because he was just under so much pressure. And rookie Zach Wilson probably would have tried to, just throw a completion, force the completion while he was under all this pressure. So it's good to see that he's maturing. Um, but the New York Jets, you know, definitely got to do something about this Mekhi Becton spot. Sign Dwayne Brown. Sign Eric Fisher. Like, there's a lot of solid tackles that you could go out and sign to help fill this void. And, you know, we just don't need Chumai Doga and Max Mitchell starting for us this year. Or Connor McDermott. He's really not that good either. Um, but yeah, as I said, Zach Wilson was 7 out of 11 today, didn't have a bad practice. If the offensive line would have given him time, we probably could have saw him make, you know, some highlight real plays. And, you know, Chuma Doga and Max Mitchell were both taking reps at right tackle. Obviously, it's not good to see Max Mitchell working with the first team. Now, I mean, look, it's good because getting him these reps are great for his development. But then at the same time, the plan was to not have him, like, be on the first team at all this season. You know, do something similar like what we do with James Morgan. Probably have him inactive for most of our games. So the fact that he might actually potentially be a backup this season or like, you know, not even get those development year. I mean, that's just, you know, not exactly what we wanted to happen. Then, you know, who got sacks today? Connor Hughes said there was eight sacks today, but I can only really see these players getting highlighted in tweets for getting sacks. So Quentin Williams got two. Solomon Thomas got one. Jacob Martin got two. And Sheldon Rankins also got one. That doesn't add up to eight, but eight sacks happened today, which is horrible. That's like Bengals-like numbers last season. But we have a good offensive line. I just think the defensive line is really good. Mekhi Becton not being there is causing, you know, the offensive line to kind of panic, kind of having to go protect another player, so that leads to something else. It's just very, very hard times with Mekhi Becton not there. Um, but, you know, hopefully insurance is coming soon. Um, Joe Douglas was also on the phone during practice you know, who knows who he was talking to? I joked around, said he was probably on the phone with his wife, but he very well could have been. And Vinnie Curry, DJ Reed, Ty Johnson, and Brandon Eccles weren't practicing today because they were hurt. And Dean Simmons was also working with the number ones today, and he was also throwing punches. I want to say three fights happened today at camp. Absolutely crazy. But that's everything that happened at the Jets' 10th practice. What are you guys' thoughts on it? Comment them down below, and I'm your host, Jets, signing off for now. See you guys later. Peace.